good friend called John. John was the first person to buy a Wombo. John has type 2 diabetes. A little while ago he developed gangrene in his feet for some while and he, ha he had his own wand which he wanded with it but he didn't do it intensively, he just wanded it lightly. Just before Christmas, on New Year's Bad, an additional infection. He went to East Surrey Hospital and the doctor there said that he really should come into the hospital, it was that bad. He said, I can't come in because I'm a carer. I've got somebody at home who can't be left. Here's more antibiotics, but he said, and I, he drew a line on his foot. If it spreads beyond that line, you will have to come. John got quite scared. And he started wanding his foot intensely. He wanded four, 500 times on the top of the foot, 500 times on the underside of the foot, three times a day. So that was 3,000 rotations a day. He did that for the 16 days, I think it was, until he had another hospital appointment. He didn't dare look. <laughs> it was a bit of an ostrich there. He didn't want to see what it was like. And when he got to the hospital, the doctor said, oh, you're the fool who doesn't want to come in. So he got the nurse to take off the dressing, and the doctor just stood and stared. John thought, uh-oh, I'm going to lose my foot. He said, I've never seen anything like this. It has almost totally disappeared. Now, I went to see him again last Thursday, and it now has completely healed over, and there is no trace of ever having had gangrene. What I've learned from that is that when you have something that is in intense condition, the more you want it, the better. Tim Jenkins from Surrey.